All right, welcome to part two of my Mark 13 Mod 5 build series. In part one of this build series, I talked about the surplus Mark 13 kit that I purchased from Thoroughbred Armament. And at the time I'm recording this video, those kits are still in stock. If you're thinking about building one of these, I would jump on it sooner than later because these kits aren't going to last forever. So if you want to knock a bunch of really hard to find parts off of the list for this gun, at a very reasonable cost, I would do that, you know, right now. So anyway, uh, I'll link that down below if you guys haven't seen part one of the build series where I go over everything that came in the Thoroughbred kit. But for part two, I'm going to talk about the parts that I've acquired since I filmed part one. So starting with the barrel blank, uh, this is a Lilja 1 in 10 twist, 30 caliber, stainless steel barrel blank that's 26 inches long and has a rough Mark 13 Mod 5 profile. This is the barrel as you would purchase it, or as Crane would have purchased it, directly from Lilja, and it has to be finished by your builder or your gunsmith who's going to complete this project for you. So, uh, this barrel is not ready to go out of the box. Your gunsmith is going to have to do some final work to it to mate it to your receiver and to profile the front of it to fit the Knight's Armament Mark 11 suppressor. So, uh, Lilja purposely left these barrels a little bit too long. Uh, so that your gunsmith has some room to play with when they're doing their fit and finishing. So just keep that in mind. When you get this barrel in the mail, it's not going to be a ready-to-go product. But anyway, these barrels retail for about $370 on Lilja's website. Now, at the time I'm recording this video, there are also some government contract barrels floating around on Thoroughbred Armament and a couple other websites that are coming in at a lower cost. So... Uh, that's another part you can pick up right now for a little cheaper than you would typically get it uh, if you have that ability. So um, I picked up mine for about $220 from an individual. And the same individual actually hooked me up with the scope for this build. So there were a few different scopes that were used on the Mark 13 Mod 5s. I'm going to get more into that when I do the finished build video and I talk about the history of the Mark 13 Mod 5 and the different variants of it. Uh, just know that the one I've chosen here is a clone correct option. This is a Night Force NXS 5.5 to 22 by 56 scope with the nav spec markings uh, designating that this is the contracted optic for the Navy inventory for rifles like the Mark 13 Mod 5 or the Mark 20 Mod 0 and a few others. So I'll clip in some photos here and there of the nav spec markings and the turrets and the reticle. Um, Basically, if you find a nav spec or an army spec scope, because the army also had their own version, um, it's just going to designate that it's the exact specifications that the Navy chose in terms of the turrets and the reticle and that type of thing. So, uh, thank you to the individual who hooked me up with the scope and the barrel, and he actually threw in the LBT sling that is issued on the Mark 13 Mod 5. So, a uh, huge shout out to you. You know who you are. Um... Moving into the last couple pieces that I've collected since this build, um, it's mainly just the cleaning kit. So the cleaning kit for these guns, there's some photo references floating around of what all came in these kits, and there's a couple of individuals I've ran into on social media who are putting these kits together and you know selling them for guys like me who are putting together a complete Mark 13 deployment kit. Um, if you've seen part one of my video, you know that I already have a surplus Pelican case that's already cut for uh, the rifle itself, the suppressor, the accessories, the cleaning kit. So I'm basically just trying to fill in all of the um, blank spaces in that Pelican kit to make it a complete deployment kit. So anyway, I'll, cl I'll clip in a couple pictures here and there. The kit is pretty basic, but comes with everything you'll need to do maintenance and repair on a Mark 13 Mod 5. Uh, it'll have a torque driver for making sure the screws on things like the chassis and the scope rings are torqued down to the correct spec. Um, it'll have cleaning supplies like the Dewey rod and, you know, the cleaning rod itself, the uh, bore guide. So anyway, that's kind of more nuanced. If you're just building this gun just to have the rifle itself and you don't care so much about the deployment kit, then, you know, the video is pretty much over here for you. But um, if you guys care, I'll be clipping in a few pictures here and there of what I've got so far. So anyway, 
Um, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, then be sure to leave them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, consider doing that so you can see the final parts of this build series. Uh, the next part, part three, will be after I receive my action from Stiller Actions and I'm getting ready to ship this gun off to my builder. So uh, look forward to that. Hopefully it comes soon. I've already ordered the uh, action, so I'm just waiting on that to show up. So anyway, um, be sure to leave a like on the video and thank you for watching.